We've never seen such explosive growth in one innovation vertical in Canada. Entrepreneurship is a, a true path. We've got a really rich ecosystem in terms of the universities. There's opportunities to kind of cross-pollinate ideas between Canada, Toronto, as well as globally. We've got some of the best financial minds in the world. So working in this ecosystem is actually, you know, it's a real treat. Well, let me tell you the beautiful thing about Toronto. Toronto already had a world-class financial services cluster. And so we had, you know, some of the most stable banks, we had some of the largest banks in the world, um, and doing really, really incredible things both here in Canada, but globally as well. There's 350,000 people who work in financial services in Toronto. The five largest bank and banks in this country are headquartered here. The largest pension funds and best managed pension funds globally are managed here in Toronto. Asset management insurance are key categories as well. One of the great strengths of our financial services industry is its ability to collaborate with each other, to collaborate with governments, uh, to collaborate with other organizations to achieve mutual benefit. I mean, they can compete like cats and dogs on a whole range of issues, but on really important areas where collaboration can actually help everyone, they're very good at doing that. There's a word for this, it's a co-opetition. That's what everybody's trying to work through. It's okay, like, what are our key differentiators? We don't want to give those up, but what are things that we can collaborate with others, even if they're rivals, in order to enhance uh, the overall uh, value proposition. The ecosystem in Toronto is just incredibly vibrant. Um, there are so many different aspects to it. Certainly the big banks play an important role uh, because this is the financial services space. Um, but there are lots and lots of entrepreneurs uh, and startup companies. There has been a lot of talk about disruption. I think that we're past that now and we do all see it as, as a tremendous opportunity. I, I think the fintech phenomenon, the global phenomenon, has awoken us all to the fact that there is an enormous amount of demand and market demand um, that we can fill and, and that we, by working together um, we, can be, we can be more. Didi's innovation ecosystem includes an amazing presence uh, out in uh, Kitchener-Waterloo in the form of TD Lab at Communitech. We have strong presence at the Design Media Zone at Ryerson. We continuously participate in the activities in Mars. This forms the basis of our innovation ecosystem so we can be connected to the new ideas that are coming to the forefront. We are at the tip of the iceberg with fintech. You know, it's fintech, the word didn't even exist about two years ago, and now we're seeing over 300 companies, 300 startups in fintech across Canada. Predominantly, all of them located, or most of them located in Toronto. What we've seen over the last three years is the intersection of innovation and banking in a way that is unprecedented. So I think there is a concentration of customers and IT spend that happens here in Toronto and that's right for the fintech industry. So you've got a combination of three things. You've got the banker, the banker minds, the financial services minds, the academics, and the capital, and the three of those things together, I think, uh, are really excellent. A lot of people don't know that a lot of the genesis and groundwork for machine learning came out of the University of Toronto. Certainly, um, Toronto, the municipal government is incredibly supportive, and we've also seen the provincial and federal governments becoming more supportive with policies and. Um, encouragement. Take the credit card market in Canada, we have about 85 billion in credit card debt with an average rate of 20 percent and the banks make a lot of money off it, yet you see banks partnering with a company like Borowell that's trying to disrupt that industry. So this is a great first market for us to, to tackle. It's just the right size in the sense of there's no shortage of Canadians looking for our service, um, but it also gives us a great vantage point to look out at the rest of the world and say, okay, where can we take what we've learned, where can we, how can we take our technology, where can we go next? We know how to build secure systems, we know how to deal with regulators, we know the complexity of global banking, and if you take those strengths and this ability to actually develop world-class software um, and combine it with young, entrepreneurial, um, fresh ideas, to bring those two things together and collaborating, um, we can create some pretty exciting experiences. One of the things about our partnership with CIBC that we're most excited about is we're really trying to get the best of both worlds. On the other hand, I think we've perhaps taught them a thing or two about uh, nimbleness and agility and, and making changes quickly as, as consumer uh, needs change. 
every week it almost seems there's another announcement, uh, another new partnership, another new application that is coming from our financial companies. So Toronto Region is, uh, to use the old phrase, quite the, the happening place, if you will. There's quite the buzz in this region. So when you can compare us to, you know, London and New York and the Valley, you know, I actually don't think any of these jurisdictions have a significant competitive advantage or a head start than anyone else. So it's for the taking today. And you know, those jurisdictions that figure this out, those banks and those entrepreneurs that begin to partner more effectively, more quickly, will end up winning. The best way to describe it, and, and, and Toronto is so great for this, there's really two halves to the equation. Uh, on one hand, you got FinTech, was all about innovation and disruption and coming out with something new. And on the other hand of the equation, you've got trust. And I feel why Toronto is so great for this. It's you need to you need to launch these products and build trust in the market. And, and Toronto is known of having one of the most trusted financial uh, um, markets in the world. And providing that balance of innovation, disruption, balanced with effective trust in the market.